guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel my name is Alicia and this video I am going to show you how I made this really cute simple super simple bottle slash can uh, koozie holder uh, using mica powders and uh, some tacket spray paint and some vinyl uh, super simple if you're interested to see how I did this stick around and I'm gonna go ahead and get started <laughs> So we are going to use a 12 ounce Slim Duo Z, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, by Makerflow. And so, you know, I just want to just, you know, I go between Makerflow and uh, Stainless Steel Depot, but you know, I really do like the packaging for um, Makerflow. And this Duo Z, or whatever, I don't even know how to pronounce that, um, is really cool because it uh, fits. A bunch of different things so your cans your soda bottles um, your slim cans um, will fit in there too uh, and so this screws off but then and you get a straw you'll get another cap so if you just want to use it as a tumbler there you go so just wanted to kind of show you that oh also maker flow always has these little care cards in here too so um just wanted to kind of put that out there um i do have an affiliate link down below so if you order for me it doesn't really help you but it does help me a little bit which um you know helps with me continuing to make these videos for all of you so i'm gonna go ahead and prep this cup i'm gonna sand it i'm gonna spray paint it and then i'm gonna come back all right guys, so my cup is nice and dry. I spray painted it uh, with the rust metallic gold and I am going to mix up my tacket. So I'm just putting, I just put a little bit of water in here. I don't put a lot, you can use it straight. Everybody has kind of their own thing. They, you know, they want, you know, a lot of water in there, like a 50-50 or, you know, some people go straight, some people just add a little bit of water. I actually added too much water. This is too watery for me. But um, I'm going to put a little bit oh, more. It's sticking. Yep, I'm using the end of my brush. Stir it up. I'm just put a little bit more in here. You don't need a lot. It's not going to take a lot to coat this cup with this. I do want a nice thin coat. I am only going to do one coat. I am not going to do two. Some people do two. You know, you figure out what works best for you. But the mica powders stick pretty well to the one. So, you know, that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to wipe this off. Flip it around and use my brush. Tack it goes on white and it dries clear. That's how you know it's dry. You know, I, I usually find that it doesn't take more than 10 minutes for it to fully dry. And it's really, really warm in my craft space. It's a really hot day and I've got a fan going, so it's going to dry really, really quick. But, um, I think I'm going to need two coats because it looks like the tacket is kind of separating a little bit on the metallic surface. So I'm going to wind up doing two coats because I want to make sure there's no blank spots. So it doesn't do this on the flat paint, but I guess it does do this. It separates on the metallic paint. So maybe you have to put some polycrylic on it so the tacket will stick. But I'm going over and it looks to be okay. So with the metallic then, I think I'm gonna go with two coats of the tacket. So I'm gonna let this dry and then do a second coat. So um, yeah, so you know, it's situational. So like if it was flat, I would go with one coat, but because it's this metallic and it seems to be separating in some places, although I just went over it again and it looks okay. Um, to err on the side of caution, I'm gonna do two coats and then I'm gonna come in with my mica powder. So I'll be back when this is completely dry. 
All right, guys, so my two coats of tacket is dry, and I am going to brush my mica powder on with this fine bristle brush, and I am using the uh, gold color from, I think it's Art Pro. Uh, I bought that in a kit from Amazon, and I will definitely link that below. So I'm just going to brush this on, and so, you know, again, with tacket, it dries, it uh, goes on white, it dries clear, and it is sticky, and that's exactly what you want. I know some people have tried doing spray paint, and when it's tacky still, they do the mica powders, but I found that, you know, with doing that, you run the risk of a dry spot. So I think the aliens tack it over and over really for me is the better choice so um that's what i'm doing and i'm just brushing it on I, you know a little goes a long way i barely used what i put in my cup and i'm going to dump that right back in my bag so that i can use it later on um for a second there i just did for like two seconds or like maybe five seconds I did a beautiful handstand. You did? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Like, like for four or five seconds. Really? That's pretty good. Not with counting Mississippis. Just like one, two, three, four, five. Okay. All or right. maybe counting to four or three. Say hi to everybody. Hi guys. Hi. I think I just did a handstand. It might have been four seconds or three seconds or five seconds. I don't know. <laughs> or six. Or, or six. But it was really good. Good for you. Good That's job. That's why I came blasting in here. Okay. All right. All right. All right. But for a really long time, I need you to practice with me. Yeah, I am not doing uh, handstands anymore. My handstand days are I know, over. I know. I know. But not like that. You need to, like, I'm going to do a handstand, but you need to support me by, like, just... Oh, that's how I'm helping you. You just tap my feet, like, gently to make sure I don't fall over. Oh, okay. Like, making sure I don't fall over. Okay, all right, I'll make sure. We'll do that in a little bit, okay? Okay, yay! I really like the sheen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray paint this with uh, Rust-Oleum's two times gloss clear uh, to seal this powder in before I apply my decal. So I will be back when this is dry. Alright guys, so I got my two coats of the Rust-Oleum's two time gloss clear and I feel like there's just this kind of um, haze to it. So I'm going to use some polycrylic because, you know, when you're applying water slide, you do need a shiny background and I feel like it's just not shiny enough. I feel like it's, um, you know, it's kind of like this metallic texture um, coming through. So I'm going to do two coats of polycrylic because it is working to shine that spot up because I want to make sure that when I put my water slide on that you're not seeing the edges and you um, will see the edges if you have a dull background. So I go and I put two to three, actually I think I wound up putting three total coats on just that one spot where I'm putting the uh, clear water slide. And then I let it dry for about a half an hour before I come in and I'm gonna start applying all my decals and my water slide. All right guys, so this is dry. I've got the three coats of polycrylic and I can definitely see a sheen difference. You wouldn't be able to see it on camera um, but I see the sheen difference, so I think that's what, just what I needed to get that um, shine behind. So uh, what I did was her name, I printed, I cut it out on this gold uh, foil. It's Oracle's um, Chrome Gold, Brush Gold. Let's see, what's the name of it? Gold Chrome. And um, this stuff is kind of a pain to work with. It's super thin. And I already weeded this, but I wanted to show you that it's, you know, how thin it is. It's almost like aluminum foil. And so I had to, I, I wound up cutting this a couple of times on different settings and wound up cutting it on the washi sheet setting um, and with like light pressure to get this to cut without destroying the letters because I was pulling like you can just see this stuff is like super flimsy. So now I'm having a hard time weeding it because 
I didn't want to do too much pressure, but now it's kind of like sticking. So these are, you know, issues that you can run into when you're crafting. And um, I might rip this and have to cut it again. So let's just see, I'm trying to pull out the center of the O. Be careful that you don't let this come back down on itself because if it sticks, that's it, it's done. You're absolutely done with it. So I'm trying to get that center out. Yeah, I got it. Just be very gentle with this stuff. It looks beautiful on a cup, but to work with it, not so fun. So it rips super easy, but like you can see how like flimsy it is. Like I said, it looks really, really nice but it's a pain to cut, it's a pain to weed. Okay, so now that I am uh, got most of what I needed to say about how much I dislike working with this particular vinyl, which it's not vinyl, it's like a foil, I'm just gonna speed through the rest of this. Um, I really like the way it looks, and so I did uh, the gold, and I am gonna layer it over the black. This is the first time I'm working with this particular product, so I don't have a whole lot of experience with it, and I'm wondering if reverse weeding it probably would have worked better, is what I'm thinking. Um, so next time I think I might just try reverse weeding it. Uh, so, um, you know, I will let you know in another video when I work with this again, whether or not the reverse weeding works better than the regular weeding. But so there it is. Monica has got a lot of things to take out of her name and I did that. So I'm just varnishing it down. I'm going to layer it over the black and I'm just centering it. I don't have any watermarks to line it up. I just eyeball it as I eyeball everything else. And so now I'm going to apply my pin striping and I cut these. Uh, this cup is 10 inches around, so I cut them at 10 and a quarter by 0.25 on my Cricut um, design space. I did the, I did the, um, the, blah, <laughs> the square shape and then sized it that way. So I'm just applying it around the cup. The only um, problem with doing it this way without epoxy is that if you don't line it up correctly and you have to pull it up, you are going to pull that mica powder and paint up with it. So just make sure that, you know, you have it where you want it and, you know, make sure it's nice and even as you're rolling it on, you know, around the cup. I find that rolling the cup is the easiest way to apply this and to get it straight. And I use the top and the bottom of the cup as my guides for distance. Again, I eyeball this. I don't measure anything out. And I trim off the ends with a pair of scissors. I do not go completely flush. I do overlap just a little bit because I've never been good at doing flush. I always seem to cut too much off and then there's a gap and then I have to do it all over again. So um, a little bit of overlap is just, you know, is just fine. You don't have to have it exactly flush. That's not going to be the focus of your cup. So now I'm going to apply um, the name on it and I'm going to peel it off and apply it as one unit onto the cup. I'm going to do it diagonal just because I like the way it looks on a diagonal. And then uh, once that is on, I am going to start with my water slide. If you've never worked with water slide, I um, use the temperature water I use is not room temperature, but a little bit warmer. It's lukewarm. Oh, and right here, there was a little piece that was in there. So this is another form of re reverse weeding. So you can put it on the cup and then pull it off. You just have to be careful of the background that you're using because if it's painted, you, you'll you most likely scratch it up with your weeding tool. But since that was under vinyl, I was okay. And so um, now I'm going to use my lukewarm water. I'm going to soak... Um, I'm using a new paper called Koala instead of the Haze. And I find that you don't actually need to soak it so I just dip it in I've mirrored my image so that I can press it on the cup and slide the paper down 
just make sure you've got it where you need it make sure the cup is wet underneath it and then just go ahead and slide that paper off see how quick that was like the hay stuff i sit and wait for 30 seconds sometimes a minute but this stuff releases really really fast so i'm um i'm actually liking this paper and i think that i might order it again so i'll link both of them down um below and you can decide you know what you like um you might want to try this one um, because the paper releases so quickly um, I had no issues with the water slide um, the clear itself you know it didn't tear it didn't really um, it didn't crease it didn't make any weird you know anything so um, I think I'm gonna try this paper again and um, so now I'm just gonna blot off all the water and I will blot out any bubbles if you're having trouble with a stubborn bubble, you can take a weeding tool and just poke a hole. I promise you'll never see it. I mean, all you need is a pinprick and it's gonna it's gonna release that water and it's gonna release that air because you don't want anything trapped over. That will show under your epoxy, so you wanna make sure it's nice and smooth. You can use a squeegee or a silicone brush to brush out some of your water. And uh, so this is it, um, this is it. I have completely done this cup with no epoxy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two coats of epoxy on and I'm going to skip this step because I show you guys all the time how I epoxy my cups and I think it's becoming redundant and making my videos unnecessarily long. So I'm going to link a video if you're not sure how to do epoxy. All right guys, thanks for sticking around and watching. Here she is all finished and pretty. How simple was this to make, right? Like super simple. She didn't want anything like glittery or whatever. So, you know, mica powders are just such a beautiful way to coat a cup and give it some shimmer, but not overdo it. Um, we've got her saying on here. And I just, you know, I just love that you can do, you can put so many different things in this. So here I have a 12 ounce bottle. I am not promoting any of these products, these drink products, but um, you can do regular can. We can do, obviously, if we can do the regular, we can do the tall cans. Oh, no, we can't do the tall cans. Nope, tall cans are no. Okay. Um, but we can do the slim cans. So, like, that's your white claws and things like that. I actually love this. Um, Paps Blue Ribbon Hard Coffee. In the middle of the afternoon, when it's really hot, in the pool. So, um, look, and, you know, you're all good. You, It's going to keep your drink cold. It's not as tight of a seal as it is on the um, can or the bottle, but you can still bring this in the pool with you, nice and good. And then, you know, if you don't want to do that and you want to pour your drink in with ice, then you've got your separate lid. So, loving it, loving it, loving it. So, nice and easy peasy. Um, you guys try it, try it with, you know, color change mica powder, or, um, any color you like and put your favorite saying and boom. You've got it. Two coats of epoxy is all this needed. Two coats out of the entire process. So how awesome is that? All right, guys. Thank you for sticking around. Please give me a thumbs up. Please make sure you subscribe. Check the description down below for links to products. And I will see you all next time. Bye.